hello everyone and welcome back to fixing tiny tedious things in my previous video you saw me creating a website with the help of elementor cloud so that website is live now here i am inside my elementor and when i click on websites you can see this is that website if i click on it you will see it will be loading from my own custom domain yes i have connected to my custom domain which is sharmafoodcorner.com now it is loading from my own custom domain and this is the final website which is live now from the previous video i have only added one menu and one photo here and i got rid of the newsletter section because i didn't need it and i also added one heading here which is an animated title so this is what i did now this website has three total pages i'll be adding more pages later on but right now this website is serving my purpose this is the about section on about section i have added our menu plus the information and the contact us page looks like this i haven't done much customizations here only updated the map a bit so that it shows my location you will see it in a bit here it is the contact us section here is that you saw me adding one email id in the backend so that i get responses there and this is my map which i updated and you will you can refer to my previous video to see how to get your own map here okay so let's get back and show you how to connect your own custom domain so for that all you have to do is just click on manage this website and grab these two values log into your registrar in my case i used namecheap namecheap is a right domain registrar because it offers you free domain privacy forever this way you will be your information will not be visible to the spammers and you won't get spam emails by the way the link to namecheap and elementor web cloud website is in the description box please go ahead and check them out if you buy anything from them i do get some sort of commission and that will help me grow this channel okay here you can see that domain name just click on manage when you are inside namecheap and then go to advanced dns here inside advanced dns you need to add two values a record and c name record and those two values are here here you can see and this is exactly how you need to enter them click on add new record grab this value and where it says host add at the rate sign and in value add your this information whatever it is in your my elementor dashboard and for cname the host value is going to be triple w and the value is going to be your elementor cloud domain do check them out from here and then only enter the information inside your dns domain dns so that's what you need to do once that is done click on add domain name you will find that here somewhere once you click on that you will be asked to enter your domain name do enter that and click add domain and within few hours your website will be available through your custom domain like this so this is what the final website looks like and it is now branded you can see i have this ssl certificate here the brand name is here with the domain name com extension and everything is working fine it hardly took me four to five hours to edit the pre-built template and get this end product so if you are also looking to build your own website you can try elementor cloud website it is pretty good you are getting google cloud hosting which is itself a very difficult to set up but since it is managed by elementor you do not have to be bothered about it and you get quality web hosting at a price which is way way less only 99 dollars per year this includes your hosting ssl certificate and pre-built templates and lot more you also get elementor pro features the elementor pro itself is 49 dollars per year but with this you get it under 100 dollars and everything is included 
so it is recommended that you try elementor cloud website it is pretty good now you must be wondering i don't have this site log which was present in the uh, previous video yes i did get rid of that because my website was live and you can also get rid of that by clicking here right now it is off if i click on this you will see a lock appearing on my website okay here you can see sorry this website is hidden right now so the lock is on now i cannot access this website until i supply a pin which is this if i copy and paste here and hit continue you can see the website loading without that i won't be able to view okay let's go back and remove that log since my website is ready to serve to the visitors so let's click here and unlock site while this happens let's talk about the other things that you get inside my elementor here you can see the backups daily backs backups are automatically done by elementor so in case your website breaks down or some sort of trouble comes at the end uh, from your end you can always go back to the backups from previous days so that your website gets back to where it was all right and if you want to for some reason change the entire website's template you can do that as well through appearance from here and under themes you can add a new theme or you can even take a look at the other available pre-built templates inside elementor here you can see with the, when the element when elementor auto installs wordpress they offer you these themes hello theme is elementor's own theme the other one are 2020 2021 the default wordpress themes so you can work with these as well but for now we are using hello theme as the basis of the template which was available pre-built i just edited that if you have any questions let me know in comment section and before i go i just wanted to tell you that i have one plugin which is still not activated it is called yoast seo i will be activating that plugin in the next video so that you also follow along and uh, your website ranks in google search Thank you very much for watching and if you are new please subscribe to this channel so that I can keep producing such videos. Thank you so much.